today, we're gonna answer the question, how do I get better fuel mileage out of my Bronco? Hey guys, Colton here with Town Country TV and TC Customs. I actually have a Bronco myself. It's a 23 Badlands Sasquatch. I've still got the factory size tires. I've got the 315 7017s. I do have aftermarket wheels. I've got some 17 by nine fuel block wheels in a level. So I'm about as close as you can get to kind of being around that stock-ish Badlands Sasquatch style build. Got the four seven gears and I've got a 2.7 liter motor. It's an automatic. Just want to kind of preference that because every vehicle is going to be a little different. Every build is going to be a little different. So what are some simple, easy ways to get a little more fuel mileage out of your Bronco? We've got three things we're going to try. Again, these are three things that you can install at your house very easily. What I'm getting right now, I'm getting 18 miles a gallon. These things do say that they get 17 combined, but I am getting 18 to 18.1 on average. I do about 80% interstate driving to get home. We're gonna put one product on, drive it for 150 miles, and then we're gonna go to the next product, put it on, see how to fix your gas mileage. And hopefully through this video, uh, we learn and you learn as well what's gonna make your vehicle uh, get more fuel mileage and maybe even just be more enjoyable to drive. So let's hop up to the shop real quick, throw a filter in this thing and see how it works out. First thing we're gonna do is put a high performance drop-in filter. Uh, what we have here is the K&N filter. It's designed to increase horsepower. It's got up to 50% more airflow. It's washable and reusable for savings up to $250. That is some, some good savings. But let's pop the hood real quick. We're gonna get this thing thrown in and show you just how easy it is to install again. All these are gonna be options that you can do yourself as long as you have hand tools and, and common knowledge on how to work on a vehicle. Step one, we pop the hood. Let's see what step two is. Looks like I need to get some, looks like eight millimeter bolts right here that gotta pop off in this clip. So let me grab some tools real quick. All right, quick, simple hand tools. Start by popping this clip out. I'm not using the proper tool for that, but I'm using a tool that works and that's what matters in this situation right now. Go ahead and run these off. pops off like that. Let's see what we got here. Wait, don't forget the final step. You can actually register this to get a warranty and you also get a really cool uh, k and sticker and you also get to put this on top of your, your air box. That way if you take it down to the quick lane over here at Town & Country Ford, they won't replace your air filter. They'll know that it needs to be clean. As you can see, there's no clamps or anything holding this on. This thing literally sits in here. You can pull it right out. And as you can see, it's just your normal old cardboard style filter. Uh, again, FOMO Co. This is a Ford Motor Company product. This is directly out of it. Again, this vehicle's got 4,000 miles on it, so this has never been swapped before. Uh, but then you get this. It's more of a fabric. Uh, it's got some ridges in there. Uh, you can almost see through it if you hold up to the light just right. You can kind of see some light coming in through that. Whereas on this one, you really can't. It's gonna hopefully lead to more air coming in. And again, more fuel efficiency, more horsepower. This thing just pops right on there like that. And that's it. We put it back together and we're good to go. That's what a two minute install. No installation is complete until you put the sticker on. You will not get the adequate horsepower gains that you can without putting this sticker on there. It unlocks an extra 15 to 20 horsepower by putting that sticker on there. Before we go any further in the video, I need to let you know Colton forgot to tell you that all of these parts are available for purchase at tccustoms.com. But the crazy thing is, is if you pick up one of those parts, it gets you entered to win this amazing Super Duty. Everything you buy on tccustoms.com, whether it's a t-shirt, a hat, any kind of merchandise, and also car parts for your Bronco, all of that qualifies you for seven times entries for a limited time on that F-250. So click on that link down below to get entered to win. Now let's go ahead and fast forward three days to see what the end results of this first test are. As you can see, we've got 4,427 miles on here. I am beyond surprised. I did not think I would see this much fuel mileage gain from just a drop-in filter, not paid by K&N. These are my findings. It's not scientific. This is me doing my day-to-day -day driving. We started 18 miles to the gallon and I am at 19.5. Start at 4,427 miles. We're at 4,717 miles. Quick math real quick. That's about 90 miles. Sorry, 190 miles worth of driving. We're going to head on to our next install. We're actually going to do an exhaust. All these things can be done at your own house with hand tools. Of course, luckily, we're able to have a shop. I'm going to get this thing dumped in the air, and I'm, I'm going to work with the tech to do this to show you anybody can do this. Let's roll on in and get to the next stage of this, of this uh, test. So kind of in the same way, the theory of getting better fuel mileage by adding an intake uh, lets air flow in better 
The theory is that letting air flow out better with an exhaust can add to your fuel mileage. And a lot of these factory vehicles come with you know, really restrictive mufflers, smaller piping and stuff like that. And again, what we're going to do is, is get an exhaust that kind of opens this thing up and hopefully that air flowing in better and flowing out better is going to add some fuel mileage to this. So what we've actually went with here is the MBRP Armor Light exhaust. As you can tell, it's got you know, wider tubing again, letting that air flow out faster. It's got a smaller muffler that's going to add to a better sound while also less restriction on getting that exhaust. It's all about getting the air in and out as fast as possible. It comes in a couple more pieces. Uh, it uses normal clamps to clamp on, but it looks like it's got all the, all, everything you need to just quickly install this thing. We're going to see how hard this thing is to install while also seeing how much MPG we're going to gain from this. Where's your uh, separator thing at? Did you have to lift it this high, Tyler? I'm on my tippy toes. Need that anyway. There it is, guys. Once we had this thing in the air, it only took about 30 minutes to install. This thing fits really well. The instructions are very clear of how to how to install this thing. As you can tell, it actually is tucked up a lot higher than that factory one, giving you a little more ground clearance. It's not technically a higher clearance exhaust, but obviously it works as one. Good clamps, bolts right up, everything just goes right into the factory areas with the hangers, the bolts, everything like that. Uh, we're gonna get this thing down on the ground and actually take a listen to it. As you can tell from that startup, it's not super loud. It's a little deeper and that kind of works for me. I'm not big on loud exhaust and if this can give me a little a little more gas mileage while also sounding a little better. Uh, I think that's a win-win. So here we are, exhaust installed. I'm going to reset my average miles per gallon. Uh, right now we're at 4,717.9 miles. Again, it's reading 19.5 average miles per gallon. Uh, I'm holding the reset button now. Back to zero. All right, we'll see you back here in 150 to 200 miles. Three days later. But real quick, let's show you what kind of fuel mileage we're at after doing the, the exhaust. Um, again, kind of surprised. I didn't expect to gain very much out of this, but as you can see, we're at 4,897 miles, a little over 170 miles, I think. So we're at 19.7, that's about 0.1 to 0.2 miles per gallon more. So the last and final install for our quest for more fuel mileage is going to be the Ford Performance ProCal Tuner. As you can see, you get your tool here. It's super easy to install. If you have a computer, you can install this thing. All you need to do is register the tool on Ford Performance website, download the, the app on your computer, download the tune to it, update it onto your uh, vehicle, and you are good to go. Three days later. All right, well, there it is, guys. We just pulled back up to the dealership. We've driven about 243 miles with the ProCal Ford Performance Tune. Um, we're going to hop inside, kind of go over what we found. I will say that we got up to 20.1 miles per gallon in this amount of time, so that's a little bit of a gain, but there's some caveats to that, which we're going to discuss as soon as we go inside. Well, there it is, guys. We just finished our journey for miles per gallon. And we started this off because a lot of people want to either get better gas mileage in their off-road vehicles, such as a Bronco, F-150, anything like that. And some people want to gain some of it back after doing a lift, wheels, tires, anything like that. Quick math, we started off just a stock vehicle using regular gas at 329 a gallon to do 1,000 miles. It cost me about $182. The first thing we did, again, was the drop-in Canon air filter. That really surprised me. We gained 1.5 miles per gallon uh, with regular gas again, 329 a gallon. That's $168 to go 1,000 miles. That's a pretty good gain. That thing's going to paper itself really quickly. And added the exhaust again, got a little bit more, got 19.7. Over 1,000 miles, you're spending about $167 still gaining a little bit. We did add the Ford Performance Pro Cal Tune as the last one. We got up to 20.1 miles per gallon, but there's a caveat to that. With the Ford Performance Tune, you have to use premium fuel. Uh, once we calculated that in at $4.06 a gallon, it's actually $201.98 to go 1,000 miles. So it's actually a loss. So you do gain the gas mileage, but you lose it when you have to pay for the higher fuel cost. Some people might think about that in another way that maybe it was just the premium gas getting better gas mileage and that can be so people talk a lot about just that better gas runs more efficient gives you more gas mileage i would say that the big thing you should probably get for your bronco real quick is going to be just a drop in filter that other one's real real tight constricting and that can really opened it up got the airflow in 
and was able to give it better gas mileage. So uh, if you need any of these parts, if you're interested in anything, any of these parts, again, the intake, the exhaust, the tune, anything like that, you can find those on tccustoms.com. I hope you learned something. I know we sure did, and we hope you have a good day. Peace.